in this tutorial we are going to create a high school list in Unity 3D and this high school list is going to be very dynamic because we will be able to decide how many scores we will save in the database that we'll be using and we'll also be able to decide how many of those scores we just saved we would like to show to the player. So right now out here we have to show the top 20 scores and we are also saving 20 scores but we could also change this number to 100 so that we'll store 100 scores in our high score list and we'll only show 20 of them so that uh, you can always uh, change this around in your high score to uh, fit your needs so if we play the game we'll see the high score list here and right now we have only saved 10 um, scores these scores are just some names with some random scores out here so in this tutorial we will simply just provide any insert name with a random score um, in your game of course you will have to use the score you just earned in your game and then punch it into into the high score list so the high score list is based on a database and the database type we'll be using is called SQLite and SQLite is a local database that we'll simply just put into the Unity project folder and then access it to, um, yeah, to store our high, high scores and load them out again. Um, of course, I'll also show you how you can create this database and how you can set up Unity to interact with it and everything. Um, let's see, we have 20 high scores, top 20 right now. So if I would like to enter a new high score, I can open up this engine name text. This is of course the text or the menu that will pop up when your game is over. And then you can enter your name, you can add A, play. And then you can see I just earned 268 points. So this is my score. And as you can see here, you can keep entering scores here and you'll just keep adding them to, um, to, to the high score list. When you have a lot of scores and if you've decided to show like for example 50 scores on your high score board or something well then you will see that you can use the scroll bar here to scroll down and see all of them so instead of rescaling um, all the scores here I've simply chosen to add them in the bottom here so that we can scroll up and down to see everything but uh, let's say in your game you suddenly decided that you would only like to show a top 10 of your games or of your scores so you can simply go to the top ranks here and change this to 10 and if you play the game again and you'll see that it only shows a top 10 instead of a top 20. If you decide that you don't want to save 100 high scores in your database, well, then you can simply just change this to, for example, 15. And if you play the game again, well, then all the scores from 15, 16 and above has been deleted. So even if I try to show top 20 ranks now, there will not be more than 15 ranks to show here. So this is basically what we will be doing this tutorial. So before we start on the actual tutorial, I would like to say if you have any uh, questions, programming related questions or something, then you can simply go to my uh, forum and there's a link to the forum in the description uh, below this video. And there you can ask any programming questions. It can be related to any of my videos. It can be some requests or it can be anything else for Unity or CCAP or something else. Um, you can simply ask your questions there and I'll see what I can do to answer them or other people can of course also answer them. Uh, if you're interested in all the code and everything I'm using here, well then you can also follow the link in the description below to figure out how you can acquire uh, this project with all the files and line comments and the code and everything of course. Uh, there's two ways you can do this, you can either just download the project or you can support me as a patron and then be able to download all my projects that I've ever created. So I hope this tutorial is going to be interesting for you and let's uh, get started on the, the actual coding.